Hey guys, and welcome to this video. On this video, I'm going to talk about hair shedding that recently happened to me for the last couple of months. And I want to talk about what actually happened, uh, what was the cause of the problem, and how I was able to find the cause of the problem, as well as how I was able to solve the problem and get my hair grow back again. And for you guys who are on this channel for the first time, make sure that you do subscribe to it, so you get latest notification about newest content that I upload. And a quick introduction, my name is Alex, and I'm previously a hair loss sufferer who was able to grow back my own hair, and I'm also a certificate trichologist. So let's dive into in today's topic, and it is about uh, shedding that I noticed for the last couple of months. And when I looked back at my pictures, uh, I could see that my hair started to kind of thin out in early in this year, in the May, and it continued uh, basically to keep progressing uh, until I found out what was the problem until around uh, the middle of the September. And uh, it was quite severe hair sheds that kind of keep according uh, on a weekly basis and made my hair start to become thinner and also that my hair started to lose the volume. Right? So, for example, if you look back at my videos back in, uh, let's say, uh, March and April, you can see that my hair actually did look very great, like it was a good density, uh, there was a lot of volume. And then I started to lose ground from around May and it kind of continued up until the middle of September. So one thing with the hair loss is that it can be caused by multiple variables, right? And I basically kind of detected possible variables that could be causing this issue, and I detected that it maybe could be my diet, because I had changed the vegetarian diet uh, back in uh, May, and it could be, for example, lack of protein in the vegetarian diet, that could be one factor. Then I had also had some sleep pattern uh, disturptions, like I was not sleeping at the right times anymore for the last couple of months, so I was thinking maybe that was a possible problem. Uh, and I also had some more stress lately because I had, for example, uh, a lot of things I need to do regarding consultations, regarding uh, program updates and so on. So I was thinking maybe that could be something that's causing that I was having more he increased hair shedding. And uh, I was also thinking about other factors, could be, for example, uh, things such as uh, change of the shampoo because uh, recently I haven't used that much medical shampoo compared to before. So I was thinking about all those variables and I kind of addressed them, right? In terms of, for example, vegetarian diet, added more protein to it. In terms of, for example, stress, I started to reduce it and uh, basically work more on my stress management as I did before, uh, doing meditation, for example. And in case of, uh, for example, uh, sleep patterns, I started to kind of have a better structure for the sleep as I had before, uh, but my hair was still shedding, right? So there was no improvement even after I had done this kind of approach for around one and a half month. And that was a red flag, right? Because each time I kind of tested out my hair on strength of the hair by pulling lightly on my temples, for example, I would get a couple of hairs each time. And that's a sign that the hair cycle is affected by something or there are online problems that is causing the hair are on the weak state. And I even recorded this video here back in August when I basically started to really seriously look into what could be possible reason for my hair shed. Uh, and as you can see, there is uh, like my situation, my temples had worsened a lot compared to, for example, earlier this year, back in uh, March and uh, February, March, April, for example. And if you look, for example, in my older videos, you can see that uh, density compared to a couple months ago uh, is completely different. And that was worrisome, right? So basically, after I recorded this video, I knew that I had to do something about the situation because if it continued, then basically my temples would uh, keep thinning out even more. And I started to look at what else could be a problem. And then I kind of detected that I had uh, bought a foam version Minox deal a couple months ago, like prior to my problems in May, uh, from eBay, right? So basically, I had bought Minox deal foam from eBay. And I had bought like a, for a nine months supply, like a three, basically three packages of, uh, of foam uh, version of Minox deal. And what happened is that after I started using it, my hair situation just got keep getting worse and worse. And those uh, like a uh, labels or uh, packages of Minox deal, they do, uh, did look legit, right? It le did look like a legit Minox deal. So uh, I was assuming, assuming that there was no issue with it. So I did look into, for example, Minox deal as a manufacturing date, as a serial number, and everything looked uh, fine. But it could be, for example, that the storage of Minox deal that uh, I got from eBay may have been stored in, a, uh, for example, in not right environment, for example, for Minox deal. There maybe has become some crystallization of the formulation uh, or other things that has impacted it and caused that it is, has been um, expired sooner or has something, some kind of other effect and has lost, lost its effectiveness. And basically what happened is that when I understood that I had changed 
that variable regarding minoxidil foam on uh, added minoxidil from EY. I switched back to a regular uh, supplier of minoxidil that I previously had. And I was able to start notice that my hair shed start to decrease. And now when I have been on correct minoxidil for uh, about a month and a bit more, my hair again is in great state. So uh, it is keep improving. So basically, first of all, it shows that, for example, foam version minoxidil can be quite unstable, right? So always make sure that you do buy, for example, minoxidil from uh, repetitive uh, sources, like don't buy them on eBay or some sketchy websites. Make always sure that you actually do buy them from official websites, even if it is more expensive or have a longer delivery. Another factor here is that, uh, as you can see, minoxidil can regrow here fast if there is no online problems, right? Because my scalp was okay, my hair cycle was strong, uh, my diet is great, uh, I don't have any inflammatory problems, any micro-inflammatory problems, my DHT sensitive is low, low as well, so there was no other factors. And basically, if there is no other factors, minoxidil can have a very good impact on the hair growth if everything else is addressed. And that's why I have been able to recover quite quickly after I found out what is the problem regarding my hair situation and I, why I was losing my hair. And I was able to recover to this point here. And now it has been like a like a five weeks, I would say, with new minoxidil formulations that I've been applying on the scalp. And I still use foam version, right? I use a simple foam version, but I just buy it from uh, like a official websites that actually are selling, selling it and not from a third hand or third uh, marketplace. So, so this is something I wanted to share in today's video for you guys that um, shed can happen and it can be also caused by simple factors such as uh, formulation itself that is uh, possibly not stored in correct uh, environment and has been affected by something and likely expired faster or has become crystallized. And for you guys who need help with the hair loss treatment and you are not seeing results uh, you are kind of expecting from it, uh, let's talk. You can schedule a call below the video, there is a link for it. And uh, basically we can together find out what is holding you back, what needs to be adjusted and what, you, what steps you need to take moving forward to actually get results from the treatment once and for all. Thanks for watching this video guys and see you next one. Cheers.